Hey, this is Scott with the Harvest Helper. Today I'm going to show you how to make a cold room with a normal AC unit. To show you the best way, let's show you one in use. This is from when Bailey and I were out at C4 Farm in Washington with owner Shannon Howard. Check it out. So he was they were so stoked on the oil. Yeah, it that's a like year 16 old. and a half, yeah. Ooh, nice. That's crazy. 16 yeah. and a half percent yield and it was beautiful. A year old. Yellow wow. oil, you know. Yeah. So, see those guys, Dave and them, at the tribe, like, if we gotta hold on to this, it's gonna be like, you know, people have been telling us, kind of like, no, as long as you're not opening it up, one you year don't keep it in the light. Yeah. It's yeah. gonna be fine if it's sealed, cool, dark, dark, and you're not fucking yeah. with it. Without air. It's yeah. fine. So, can you tell me about this room? Uh, just cold storage. We got a, a AC unit with a cold bot on it, cool bot, and we're keeping this room between like 34 and 40 degrees. And we've got product left from last year that. What's a cool cool bot? It overrides like if any AC that you get will only go down to 60 degrees. Oh yeah. So that thing overrides the. Uh, the thermostat. the thermostat on it, so it'll let it keep cooling down into the 30s. I don't know how far, I mean, we might be able to freeze in here too, yeah. with it, but I didn't want to freeze it. I wanted to keep it like, you know, above freezing. Yeah. What I thought was a normal semi-truck trailer with the built-in refrigeration was really a standard air conditioner with the cool bot that they cut into the trailer. It was really cold in there too. It makes sense that this would be common knowledge to Shannon and his friend from the Squaxin tribe because they are both avid hunters. They use these devices to cool deer and elk which is what this technology was originally intended for. I've noticed one of my favorite YouTubers using it also. Pedro from Pedro's Grow Room does bubble washing and rosin pressing. I've never been there but it looks like he uses a regular room with the pink foam board attached to the walls with the cool bot attached also. This is a device that, like they said, overrides the thermostat. Normal air conditioners only go down to 60 degrees, where this allows you to drop it down to 34 degrees. This doesn't get you sub-zero temperatures, but it does allow you to do bubble hash, rosin extractions, hang drying, a good room to put a sub-zero freezer in, or preserve your cannabis like Shannon did. These devices are sold online, readily available, and there's even a new CoolBot Pro that allows you to control it from your phone with Wi-Fi. You can see where one of these comes in handy if you're in the cannabis industry for a lot of different applications. Hey, thanks Shannon and Pedro if either of you guys are watching. That's it. Thanks for watching and have a smoking day, you guys.